Whose turn is it to tell a story today? Will it be Louisa? Will it be Flory? Will it be Sam? Or will it be Georgie? Or it might be you far away. <laughs> it might. Please, will you stay? Just for five minutes more. Five minutes more, five minutes more. It's time for a story, so stay for five minutes more. It's my turn to tell a story today. Once upon a time, in a higgledy-piggledy house in the middle of town, there lived an old man called Uncle Miscellanea. Now, Uncle Miscellanea was a great collector. He collected anything and everything, as you can see. Big things, little things, hairy things, smooth things, bright things and dark things. All sorts of things. His nephews, Joe and Julian, always enjoyed coming to visit him. Hello, Uncle. Have you got anything new for us to see? Oh, yes, my dears. I've been busy collecting. No touching, remember? Only looking. What a nice old man. And what wonderful collections. Yes, Louisa. But Joe and Julian thought he could have more fun with his collections. Uncle, soon it will be your birthday. Would you like to have some fun? Fun? Oh, not really. But I would like some more round things for my collection of round things. So Joe and Julian went off in search of a new round thing and returned with a lovely round hoop. Oh, that is most interesting. Thank you so much. Now would you like some fun? Um, I don't think so, my dears. But I would really like another round thing. But this time, could it be flat? Like a dinner plate? So the two boys set off to find him something round and flat like a dinner plate. And this time they brought with them... A pancake! Oh, that's perfect. You are so clever. Would you like to have some fun now? Fun? Oh dear, I'm not sure about that. But what I'd really like is another round thing. A round thing that's solid, like an orange. A sphere. That's what you call it. Yes, Louisa. And can you guess what the two boys brought back for him? It's a ball, Uncle. Oh, you are both so clever and so kind. Thank you so much. Uncle, can we show you how to have fun with your new round things? Fun with round things? Oh, I don't really do fun. Please, Uncle, just this once. Very well, then. Look, Uncle. You can roll it. Oh, I say, that is fun. It's working. He's beginning to see what fun it is to have fun. Yes. And once they played with the hoop, they started to have fun with the ball. Oh, 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 oh that is so much fun. But it's made me rather hungry. <laughs> hungry? I wonder if we can guess what he's going to eat. A delicious pancake. It's the first time I've had fun with my collections. And certainly the first time I've ever eaten one of them. <laughs> <laughs> if I collected things, then I think I'd collect... rocks. And I'd collect... Cars. Oh, it would be such fun to have a collection. But we do have a collection. We have the best collection of stories ever. And they are all fun. Mm. Oh! Mm. Yes, they are. <laughs> Whose turn is it to tell a story today? Will it be Louisa? Will it be Flory? Will it be Sam? Or will it be Georgie? Or it might be you far away. <laughs> it might. Please, will you stay? Just for five minutes more. 
Five minutes more, five minutes more. It's time for a story, so stay for five minutes more. It's my turn to tell a story today. Who do you think lives in this little wooden house right in the middle of a deep, dark forest? Me! I'm Jacob, and here is my mother, <laughs> and here is my father. <clears throat> Why is Jacob's father carrying those logs, Flory? Because he's a woodcutter. That's why they live in the forest, and Jacob has never been anywhere else. <laughs> Jacob enjoys making things out of wood, like this little pipe that he always keeps with him. Oh, Jacob, your tunes always cheer me up. Shall we dance? <laughs> now, one day, Jacob made something that he'd never made before. Can we fly my kite, Father? Can we? Can we? Well, I'm sorry, Jacob. We can't fly it here in the forest. It'll get stuck up a tree. Hmm, I never thought of that. Don't worry, Jacob. I'm sure your father will have a good idea. Hmm. Hmm. Jacob, it's time for me to take you through the deep, dark forest to a clearing where you can fly your kite. Perfect. Don't get lost now, will you? Why don't you tie the end of a ball of wool to a tree? Then you can find your way home if you get lost. I know how you leave a trail of wool. You just hold the ball of wool and unwind it as you go. Exactly. Then you follow it all the way back home again. But Jacob's father said... I know this forest like the back of my hand. We don't need a trail of wool. And off they went, tramp, 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 through the forest until they came to a clearing. And Jacob and his father flew the beautiful kite. Whee! Look at it, Father! Look at it go! Then back through the forest they went. Tramp, tramp, tramp. But suddenly, Jacob's father stopped. Are we... are we lost, Father? Oh, I'm afraid we are. I thought I knew this forest like the back of my hand. But I've made a mistake. We'll have to stay here tonight and find our way home in the daylight. Never mind, Father. I've got a good idea. I'll play my pipe to cheer you up. Oh, dear. Oh. Back home, Jacob's mother was worried about them. Then she heard a sound on the breeze. <gasps> That's Jacob's pipe. I'll follow the sound until I reach them and leave a trail of wool so that we can find our way home. So that's what she did. She went tramp, tramp, tramp through the forest, leaving a trail of wool behind her. And at last she found Jacob and his father. Then they followed the trail of wool as they went tramp, tramp, tramp all the way home. Can we go and fly the kite again, Father? Of course, Jacob. But we will always leave a trail of wool so that we can find our way home. Oh, what a good idea. Did you like flying the kite, Sam? Yes, it was fun. And I liked playing the wooden pipe. And I liked having good ideas. Mm, I think far away it was me who had the good idea about the trail of wool. Oh, so it was. But I had the good idea about going to the clearing. And I had the good idea about playing my pipe when we were lost. A story full of good ideas, then. And it was my good idea to tell it. <laughs> <laughs>